Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, in conscious company, how should we approach the, how should we be receptive to or approach satsang in a way that we get it? instead of satisfying our mind and ego, where we get it. It's like, aha! And it's really something that's connected from within us, rather than our mind just got satisfied by an understanding from a book that we read and we heard. And, you know, how can we, how can we be with you and receive it from that aha? Because that's the only way it's real. receive it in the mode of inquiry. Once it is gotten that there is an aha, to whom? To whom was there an aha? Who seemed to have got it? What was gotten? and continue to bring consciousness into its pure state, its pure essence, which is free of I and uh, not I, I and other, free of the one who is getting it. And being free of the one is getting it is being, is being it. It's being the getting it. Not knowing the getting it. Mm -hmm. Not remembering the getting it. Because once we start remembering the getting it, oh, I had that great experience once. Now we put it into the past, as opposed to being it in the ever-present now, moment. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is a strategy of the mind. It loves to get it. <laughs> it loves to have all these insights, all this understanding, all of this knowledge. That's what it feeds on. You have to put it on a fast. When there is desire, the word desire itself is, comes, there's a couple of meanings to it, up from the stars is one meaning. From God is another meaning. So all desire comes from the source. It's actually the source choosing to manifest as the particular. And you're the instrument. The apparent you is an instrument through which this source is appearing to manifest and experience. The paradox of it is, there is neither individuality or free will, but as long as you are appearing as an individual, there is individuality and free will. And since in truth you are the source, appearing as you, you have the right of choice. 
which means the higher you rise, the more consciousness you have, the more you get aware that you don't have free choice because you belong to the Supreme anyhow. Yes. And the higher you are up the ladder in that realization, the wiser you are in the use of choice. Which means like where it's because it, you give it to existence because you know existence plays out itself much better than I am with my ego. Right? Yes. Okay. If the mind is vagrant, if it's moving here and there and not, not steadily remaining or abiding in the stillness, notice that you are still there must be this stillness that is aware of the unstillness of the mind. Give attention, intentionally choose to give attention to the steady awareness, which is the background, the backdrop, the field and ground of being. on which the mind appears to be moving, or over which it appears to be moving, or in which it appears to be moving. But more than to the movement, be aware of the stillness. See how strong the habit is to be identified with a movement of consciousness and less aware of the stillness of consciousness. Choose the stillness. Ultimately, the mind returns to the stillness, it gets tired. It happens every evening, we call it sleep. As Bhagavan Ramana said, be awake while asleep, and asleep while awake. Be in the stillness. Namaste.